Hi Gemini and welcome back to my channel. My name is Renee and this is New Angel Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. Today's video is going to be your weekly prediction for Monday the 24th of January. I hope you are well uh, and you are keeping safe. I'm using the original Rider Waite deck. This is one of my oldest decks. I'm hoping the world card doesn't come out because I've got a replacement card in there. But let's see how we go. Alright. Gemini. Angel Spirits Guides, Angel Spirits Guides. What does Gemini need to know for the 24th? Week of the 24th, 2022. Thank you so much, Spirit. What does Gemini need to know for the week of the 24th? Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Got the Moon, the Knight of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Swords. And on the split, we have the Temperance card, the card of Sagittarius. Okay, Gemini, this is your reading. It's a very quick reading. As I said, it's just three cards, so let's dive straight in. Um, you've got the Moon card here, which is ruled by Pisces, um, and there's a lot of water energy, actually, in your entire spread. So we've got the Moon card, the Knight of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. Um, and we've also got the King of Swords here, and it's clarified by the Temperance card, which is, you know, creating that beautiful spiritual alchemy. You're starting out with the Moon card here, which is Piscean energy, and look, we've just had a full moon in Cancer, so everything has been extra sensitive. But I feel this week you're actually, you know, going to be conveying more emotion than usual. Um, you might even be having some bizarre dreams. I know I did last night. Um, totally bizarre and vivid. But the moon card indicates things that are hidden, okay? And there are certain things that are hidden from you which will be revealed this week. So you may have been sensing something that's sort of brewing under the surface. Um, and that will be revealed this week. So keep your eye out on that. In the center of the reading, you've got the Knight of Cups, which is sort of an energy of um, a messenger, an emotional messenger. I feel that you're embodying this energy, Gemini. You know, you're the, you're the bearer of, you know, good tidings and trying to make sure that people, you know, feel comfortable and, you know, basically sharing positive messaging. Um, there could also be, um, for those who are single, maybe a love offer coming through. There's someone here offering you a cup, which is often um, filled with love. The outcome for the reading is the Queen of Cups. This is Scorpio energy. And look, the Scorpio energy here is someone who's an emotional counsel. You know, the Queen of Cups, she's very caring and she's very, you know, she's there. She's the shoulder to cry on. Look, so I feel like this week, Gemini, look, there's a lot of sort of emotional um you know undercurrent happening in your life and you could be as i said receiving an offer from somebody if you're single but generally speaking you know there's two cups here and these two cups are actually when you look at these two cards together as well they're actually um facing each other so they're talking to each other um you know you might even be dealing with a piscean or a scorpio um or a cancer but generally speaking um you know the knights here they are messengers of emotions and the Queen of Cups here, she's, you know, she's the harbinger of people's, you know, trust. Um, they come to her for advice. They come to her to share their worries um, and things like that. So Gemini, I feel like, you know, you're going to be sort of the emotional go-to this week, um, even though you might actually be feeling quite anxious yourself. The overarching energy for the reading is the King of Swords. This is Libra energy. Uh, if you're talking about aligning your cards with astrology um, and you know the, the sun is in Aquarius at the moment you've just it's just gone direct um, well Uranus has just gone direct as well so even though you are the emotional sort of go-to this week for a lot of people I feel like you're making some very serious decisions some very strong decisions some decisions that um, you know take a lot of high intellect you're in a position of power you're in a position of you know authority um, but you are keeping one foot on the ground as well as one toe in the water. So what this means is you're sort of keeping yourself grounded, but at the same time, you st you still have a heart. You know, you still have, um, you know, empathy for, for others. And, you know, because the King of Swords, when he's on his own, he can be very, um, you know, cutthroat. 
very direct um, but you know Gemini this week I feel like you've got a bit of a soft spot happening um, and that's just across the board because there's so much water in your chart uh, sorry not in your chart in the reading <laughs> I've been reading so much lately I just these words just pop into my head anyway Gemini I hope you really enjoyed the reading for Monday the 24th of January if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. If you'd like a personal reading or do so, any of my courses, the link is below to my website, newangeltarot.com. Have a great week, Gemini, and thank you for watching.